taking you live now right now is NDP leader Marit Stiles is discussing the Ford government's latest taxpayer-funded ad campaign focused on housing. Let's listen. They know that's not true because they know that this corruption scandal has nothing to do with housing. It has everything to do with enriching conservative insiders. And these ads, which again are all over social media, radio, and television, started running just two days after the Auditor General's report found that their greenbelt grab, the government's greenbelt grab, favored certain developers who stood, and I'm going to quote the Auditor General, to significantly benefit financially by receiving preferential treatment through the use of a biased process that was non-transparent to the public. It certainly looks as though this government is using public money for a flashy advertising blitz to distract from the fact that they are under investigation for corruption. We know this isn't about housing. It's about the premier trying to distract from his government's corruption scandal. But Ontarians aren't buying it. Both Doug Ford and Minister Clark say the buck stops with them, yet they refuse to take any real responsibility for this mess. The Conservatives need to pull the plug on this advertising blitz right now. But more importantly, as leader of Ontario's official opposition NDP, I'm going to say it again and again and again every chance I get, Doug Ford needs to do the right thing and fire Minister Clark. He needs to recall the legislature and return all those lands to the Greenbelt. And with that, I'm very happy to take your questions. Mm. Uh, your first question is from Chris Rushaway from uh, Toronto Star. Please go ahead, Chris. Hi, Chris. Hi, Mart. It's actually uh, Rob Ferguson. I'm just on Chris's phone. <laughs> hey, Rob. <laughs> Good morning. Um, one thing I wanted to ask about is um, uh, on page 10 of the, or sorry, not the auditor, the uh, um, integrity commissioner's report, he says the documents gathered for his investigation include very few emails and no text messages exchanged between the minister's chief of staff and developers and their representatives with respect to the green belt. Um, and he was advised that many communications took place by phone call and that documents were often hand delivered on USB sticks or on paper. So what level of concern do you have that there's a lot missing here? And how could you get at that? How could we get at that? Would that take legislative committee hearings? Would that take an inquiry? What would that take? Well, you know, I, I mean, I'm very concerned, uh, as I've said before, about uh, the way that this government, and particularly the premier, is hiding information from Ontarians. Uh, it's not acceptable uh, that they refuse to share uh, phone records of the premier, his office, other staff, uh, or emails. And we know, of course, from the Auditor General's report that emails were deleted. Uh, we also know that political staff are using apps like WhatsApp uh, to communicate. Uh, we don't know if government officials like and elected officials are doing the same thing. Uh, we know the premier uses his private device uh, for a lot of calls. And so we know also that there's long periods around the time that a lot of these things were happening where there are no phone records on his official government devices. Well, that's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. Uh, the premier needs to become needs to be clear and transparent with Ontarians. Uh, we have a right to know all of Ontario what took place here, and I think we're just scratching the surface of what's going to come out. Uh, what what will it take? You're, you're, you can be darn sure uh, that when the legislature returns, we will be raising this and we will be demanding the release of those records. Um, you know, should we? Uh, be able to have, you know, have stronger rules around these things. You know, I will say, honestly, I think the rules are pretty darn clear. You're doing government business. You need to share that with the people of Ontario. It's pretty clear. And I've asked the Freedom of Information Privacy Commissioner to, to you know, investigate that further and, and make those records available to people. Uh, but, you no, know, the Premier could end this right now. All he has to do is, is make those uh, records publicly available. Why won't he do it? What is he trying to hide? Do you think we need to go kind of back to uh, uh, revisit some of the things like what happened with the gas plants, legislative committee hearings? 
uh, or um, as there, there has been in other circumstances, public inquiries. Is that the best way to get at this? You know, I, or... I, cer I certainly hope, Rob, that we don't need to go down that road. Uh, but if that's what it's going to take eventually, that's where we're going to end up, right? And uh, with a majority government, they're, they're not going to want to do those things. But that's not going to stop the rest of us from continuing to dig and investigate and ask questions. I mean, the RCMP, you know, are, are looking at this, right? So, uh, but that could take years. Uh, so absolutely, you know, well, if that's what it's going to take, we'll we'll push for those things. But I got to tell you, you know, I've got two giant reports here uh, right next to me uh, already that indicate that laws were broken, that uh, this government acted without integrity. You know, they broke the rules. And that a few very wealthy people with connections to the Conservative Party and to the Premier made billions off these land swaps. So they need to do two things. They need to fire the minister. Uh, and, and then they need to return the land to the Greenbelt. That's my number one priority, and it will continue to be. But right. we, will, we will get answers to these questions. That is Opposition Leader Merritt Stiles uh, talking this morning, not only about the government, uh, Ford government launching ads regarding housing in this province, but also, of course, continuing to raise her concerns about the uh, latest reports of not only the Integrity Commissioner, but also the Auditor General about the Ford government's Greenbelt uh, land swap, etc.